the partition plan of Palestine. And this is the map they came up with. And uh, today we walked around Amsterdam a little bit and we saw those, uh, what are they called, the bulldog coffee shops? And when we look at this map, when I look at this map, I get a sense that whoever drew the map must have been sitting in one of these coffee shops when they were drawing this map. I don't know how long, if they, if they were around in those days, but certainly something along those lines. First of all, when you look at the map, it's absurd. The boundaries are absurd. There's nothing there that is actually practical. But that's just one aspect of the madness. The other aspect of the madness, which really convinces me that they must have been high or drunk when they, when they drew this map and when they came up with this plan, is the following. In 1947, the entire Jewish community in Palestine numbered about half a million people. This was, these were the people who, like my grandparents, came from Eastern Europe to colonize Palestine, to immigrate to Palestine, if you want to call it that. And then my parents' generation, who were born there, first generation Israelis, if you will. That's it. It was a community that had practically just come out off the boat. The Palestinian, native Palestinian Arab community was about three times larger. Yet the partition plan, or in, this, in the partition plan, they allocate the larger portion of the country to the smaller Jewish community. And the local Palestinian native community was supposed to be satisfied with a smaller portion of the land. And this was somehow supposed to work. Even today people say, you know, it's all the Palestinians' fault, this whole conflict, because they rejected the partition plan. Of course, who would not reject um, as such a mad idea, such crazy, a crazy plan. But there's something else about this plan that is important to understand. What emerged the next day are two diametrically opposed narratives. Two histories that are the absolute opposite of each other. Cannot be bridged, cannot be brought together. And when we accept one, we reject the other. It is that extreme.